So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode, what, 67 now I believe of Master League and uh, a little bit different today folks, a little bit different because this isn't going to be me playing live, I recorded this the other day, a uh, bit of a nightmare as you can see from the lineup, no Kulisevsky, no Tar, no Klosterman today, uh, so some alterations as we take on the Tottenham Hotspur, big match, first against second, but yeah, I'm playing on Legend, and I'm going to show you this. We're on Legend difficulty yet again, and I found a, a bit of a mod. Now, the only thing that really has been tweaked here is the DT18 file. But I will say this much. The two matches you're about to see were probably some of the toughest matches I've played this Master League, but also I felt like I wasn't cheated out of it. As you can see right there, we're going to be on Legend 15 minutes, although it's a little bit longer using Cider. But... This could be a possibility. I want you guys to let me know what you think about this. There isn't tons of chances. This is a very... I had to concentrate, kind of buy my time kind of matches. And we've got some crazy, uh, well, crazy ending uh, as well to this video. So be sure to stay till the very end to see what happens uh, in the Champions League. So there it is. Everton taking on hot Tottenham. I'm going to say the wrong word there. Uh, but Tottenham Hotspur. And we're also going to see a lovely Kung Fu kick as well today. Uh, from Gareth Bale. If you didn't see my tweet, <laughs> ridiculous that they are. It just it goes to show you how broken the referees and the collisions are in this game right now. But anyway, here we go. Everton taking on Tottenham. It's like I said, a different style today. I'm not a fan of doing it like this. I like to play my matches live, and honestly, it takes longer to edit like this. But I don't know. I just felt like the other day. I'm going to try out. I can't remember the guy's name. Um, thank you for sending me over the DT file. Anyway. But he sent me this over and he said give it a test on Legend because he's finding superstars too easy but he's been having some good matches. So anyway, I'm going to let the gameplay speak for itself uh, as uh, yeah, we dive in here with uh, Hudson Adoy. It did feel a little bit slow still. I don't know if it's been sort of slowed down ever so slightly uh, but it was doable. It, it certainly was. Anyway, here we go with Alan as he uh, looks to find Luigi who gets a nod ahead. Um, of the likes of Fuji playing up today. We're playing up uh, Calvert-Lewin and Luigi. So no Marlon, he's injured, I believe. Uh, and Shalov is also uh, on the bench. But a chance now for Tottenham Hotspur with uh, Harry Kane. Find uh, Ndombele, Hakan lays the ball up the line. Now this was a little bit shaky right here. <sighs> the fun and games, people of Pez. With the, the the player switching just needs to be addressed. There's so many things in this game that if they just fix them, player switching, collisions, and refs would be the three main ingredients in inconsistencies. And suddenly you've got you know a cracking game on your hands. But anyway, Mina nods it back to Strakosha, uh, and now we fast forward here towards Tottenham taking uh, a bit of a corner with Gareth Bale switching off. As he uh, now looks to cut inside, and David made the challenge, and the referee didn't want to give a penalty there. Completely ignored it, uh, but he did decide to get the free kick there with Celso. So maybe a bit of a let off uh, for the Toffees, only 14 minutes in. As Calvert Lewin bundles Regulon out of the way, which is what I like. As I said, this legend difficulty with the, the tweak DT18 file. I was still able to outmuster players. I was still able to win the ball, but it was just very hard to break teams down, uh, and they kept the ball well at times as well. Uh, here's a chance now for Urie as he skips past David. Ball's fizzed up the line towards Harry Kane. He hasn't got much support on though. Mina just trying to hold him up. Urie once again back towards Harry Kane. It's good play this by Spurs and Dombele. Bale back to Lo Celso. Dombele once again looking to turn but it's all too much in the end Camavinga falls to the turf Lo Celso strikes deflected and Mina gets it away uh, tidily out for the corner what Harry Maguire should have done the other day when they faced Newcastle United instead of heading the ball straight to St Maximum now the ball's delivered and Gareth Bale with a header unfortunately it is over the bar so 25 minutes played now lovely splitting pass there by Harry Kane does find the Welshman Gareth Bale left right towards Lo Celso and there's the big Mina getting the foot in the way and that was the thing I had to try and just stop Tottenham from doing the usual cutbacks and finishing uh, try and hold them up any way you can on legend because you can't afford to dive in they will skip round you nine times out of ten and here is Sanchez 
does find uh, Eric Dyer. Up the line to Lacelso. Gareth Bale now towards Odier. He's got some space to bring it forward. Does fire it towards the near post. Harry Kane's up, and once again, Tottenham over the bar from the headers. Now they go into the 35th minute, bit of a corner. Ball's cleared away. Now this was a chance because Calvert Lewin saw Luigi, and guess what? The goalie didn't want to commit. The goalie decided he's going to stay on his own, but Luigi, ooh, just couldn't quite get the finish away quick enough, and Tottenham survive. I mean, it's a possibility. Those through balls can happen. He certainly can, especially if the goalie decides that he doesn't want to commit. And here is Lacelso. Starts again with Winks. Looking for Harry Kane. Header by Mina. Here is Allen. Does find David. Now the quick tempo football needs to happen as Luigi does find Calvert Lewin, but Winks just a little bit too quick for him. And the ball is fired away. David does win it. Here is Sebastian Veer. Spiding his time, and that's what it was all about. Don't rush. I played long matches here, and I just didn't want to rush. Wanted to try and play a little bit of possession, a little bit of football. Five minutes to play till half time. Here's David finding Allen. Some space ahead of him, but took too long. And Hakan, the Turkish man, said, Thank you very much. We'll start again now with Sanchez. Now, if Everton do win today, they will go. I think five points ahead of Tottenham. I think they're two points clear at the top of the table right now. It's going to be a tall order. And there hasn't been too many chances in this first half. Here's Lo Celso. Odier, who's been up and down the flank. Looking to feed it out the line, but that was comfortable for Holgate. Uh, as uh, Strakosha launches this one forward. Tried to find Villa. No such luck. Challenge from David. Winks. Starts again with Eric Dyer. And there you go. There's still the dumb moments every now and then. But you know what? I didn't mind it. I didn't mind on Legend the fact that the AI were making the odd mistake. Because guess what? Players make mistakes all the time. Uh, as David has a chance, couldn't get it off quick enough. Alan wins the header, finding Winks. Final few seconds of this first half. Urie back to Dyer. And the referee's going to blow for half time. So, yeah, not too much happening. It really was a very difficult game to break down these teams. And let's dive into the second half. So away we go. No such changes. You're going to see a lovely, a lovely Kung Fu kick at some point in this half. Probably quite early, I believe. It's probably the craziest decision I've ever seen go against me. Here it is right now. Ready? Bang! And the referee actually gave the foul to Gareth Bale. I have no words. Look at this. We're going to put this in slow-mo. Ho, 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 ho. Uh, absolutely baffling. How on earth can you give a foul to Gareth Bale because he's milked it afterwards? Watch it again. I'm going to slow it down for you once more. Here we go. Ready? Look at that. Elevation right. I mean, literally went through his face. Boom, boom, boom. And because he tripped over Hudson Adore, whoever that was, the referee gave the foul. I, I couldn't believe that. Rewound it about 17 times just to uh, try and figure out what was going on. Anyway, the ball over the top towards Luigi wasn't a bad idea. But now a chance for Tottenham with Bale. Giving it away towards Camavinga. And uh, there was a chance. Sorry, the phone was going off. Got distracted. Go away, please. But Hakan, that was the chance for Tottenham. Probably the best chance all game here. Kamavinga a little bit too slow. Bale found uh, Hakan. Yeah, just couldn't find the target. Now here's Mina. Towards Holgate. Side towards uh, Kamavinga. Now I tried this. That was a terrible pass. But I tried playing on this difficulty on a few different matches. Exhibition just to test it before I dived into Master League and I said to myself okay this does seem respectable we'll give it a bash so here we are anyway here is Allen Via does find Calvert-Lewitt skips it on towards David looking to hold off his man does superbly well oh he's still going here David oh what about that ladies and gentlemen an absolute peach I'll tell you what we scored this goal I was off my seat 
The ability for David here to not only hold off his man, skip past the challenge and then just fire this into the top corner. On legend, I was pretty impressed with myself, to be fair. I was extremely impressed with myself to be able to pull that off. Look at this hold-up play by the young man. He's going to be a force, this guy. And then the ability to just smash it top bins. No, they don't have the likes of Hugo Lloris in goal, but still. Great play. Calvert-Lewin flicks it on. I was using the old special control there just to hold it out for him. And then this finish right out of his feet. And it, and it honestly couldn't have gone any better. So there we have it. First goal scored. 54 minutes played. The Toffees take the lead. But at this point, there was so much time left. Of course, I was still concerned about what was going to happen. As uh, Wink starts again with Dyer, as Tottenham just pinging it about round the back. And now they're looking for that long searching ball. And Babu wins the header. Always a quality player, and Babu never disappoints. Sebastian Villa looking for Calvert Lewin. Bit of a poor pass there, Regulon. Towards Hakan. Allen getting the foot in and. The Toffees regaining the ball. Mina towards Holgate. But you can see Tottenham are pressing me. That's what I liked about this. They're pressing. They're not sitting back. They're trying to win the ball back when they can. There's David now. Finding a little bit of form. He got a yellow card for an earlier challenge. This was a little bit naughty. It was more of a, a misplaced touch followed by a bad, uh, bad challenge. Here is Gareth Bale though, does well. Lo Celso looking to get it on the left foot as he loves to do, but there's the difference. You can actually challenge the AI. Win the ball back. And away we go now with Villa. Luigi wants it through the middle. Villa manages to keep it up with him, but yeah, the pass didn't have enough pepper on it. Uh, a bit of a mix up there between a couple of players, it happens. As we have crossed the hour mark here. Sanchez. Winks back towards him. Regulon, Sanchez. Lovely switch towards Gareth Bale, but Holgate was not letting him sit, not letting him take it, take it down. David again. Tottenham give it away, and then they win it back, and then they give it away. It was just one of these matches, but it's so interesting to play because it felt like a real game. You know, there was the pace was real nice. It wasn't too fast. It wasn't too slow. We were seeing mistakes from both sides of the field. There wasn't a ton of chances, no, but I don't know. I kind of like this uh, I like this gameplay more than, than having the ball for 90% of the game. Here is Calvert-Lewin. Lovely turn by him as he cuts inside. He just didn't quite have the strength there to keep off, I think, Sanchez. Now Gareth Bale looking towards Harry Kane. Did manage to keep himself onside and comfortable save for Strakosha. As we now move into uh, free kick time or corner time, should I say. Shalov has come on, Luigi rested. And also Barrios comes in towards uh, the middle, replacing Camavinga for a little bit more of a defensive cover. It's Hudson Adoy now. Great challenge by Winks. Too much play around with himself there. 15 minutes left. Harry Kate looking for Gareth Bale. We can see the tired legs of the Welshman. Probably needs to come off. Which is what I want to see, because if I'm getting tired, then the AI needs to get tired. You can't be having... I'm telling you, there's always a, a something on Legend where the AI have that advantage. So if you can find a way to stop it and just let the AI play smarter, I'm a happy bunny. I'll tell you that much. Anyway, here's a chance for Hudson Adoy. I don't know why I'm a happy bunny, but I am. Easter's coming, folks. Easter's coming. That's why. Anyway, great play here by Hudson Adoy. And that's more like it. Good reverse ball. Decided to just hit this, there was nothing else on, uh, forcing the save from the goalie. And now a chance for the corner as Aarons now comes on for Sebastian Villa. Hudson Adoy with an attempt and a comfortable block by Tottenham. Themselves another corner. David swinging it in, Calvert Lewin's up. And a comfortable save for Djukovic. Who, uh, is, he, is, he, is he a Tottenham player? I don't even know, to be fair. Or did they buy him? Who knows? Anyway, 10 minutes left. Tottenham looking for an equaliser. Remember, if they lose today, they will go five points behind us. Here's Uriet. Great challenge by Holgate. I'm liking Holgate as well. Always puts in a good shift when he's playing. Uriet once more delivers it towards the near post. Mina gets it away. And Dombele with a chance. 
And now Aarons can bring this one forward. We've started to play Aarons a little bit more. Because he really isn't a bad player and he will grow. As uh, Calvert-Lewin picks it up. But got outmustered by Winks. I mean, that's one of those there, isn't it? I mean, would Winks really outmuster Calvert-Lewin off the ball? Mm, I don't know. But you've got to take the good with the bad. So, yeah, he's being dispossessed here by Allen. He has seen the run here of Calvert-Lewin. Can he get it down? It was a real chance there. He just couldn't get it down quick enough to be able to cause some problems. Calvert-Lewin again causing issues in the air. Winks finding Jimenez. Or well, Jimenez. Kane up against Mina. But look, Kane too strong for him. Lays it up the line. Jimenez with a chance. And this is where you just get players coming across. Just doing whatever you can. If you can smash square to clear the ball. That's what we're going to do. Here's Calvert-Lewin now looking for Shalov. Just kind of stopped his run. And at this point, we're just going defensive. Didn't want Barrios pushing forward. I wanted to cover at the back. Praying and hoping that we can hold on to this 1-0 lead as they were looking to play over the top. But Mina having a, a cracking game as he always does. Here is Winks. Lasalso gives it away. Hunts it to Up the line to Shalov. David. Everyone was knackered now. I mean... It was such a long game, depletion all over the place. It had to be so switched on as well and concentrated. Great challenge by Regulon. A good play by Aarons as well to force himself a throw uh, with two minutes to spare. As Sizoko makes an appearance. And Celso comes off. So at this point, it was all about keeping the ball in the corner, really. I was like, I am not doing anything silly here and trying to whip the ball in and then get countered and then you're going to see some legend BS at the end because it does happen often so Aaron's doing a fantastic job keeping the ball in the corner Tottenham getting a little bit frustrated now it was a chance for David to do the same but hey look wasting a little bit of time Tottenham do finally win it back lays it across to Winks but having a look at the clock the ref blows for full time and we did it, folks. We managed to win on Legend against Tottenham. Yes, we used it, uh, you know, a different mod file. As it's only one file. It's a DT18. I'll leave the link in the description if you guys want to check it out. But it was so much more doable than the regular Legend difficulty. Now, the big question was, is this going to be a reoccurrence? Because we're going to take on Anderlecht in a minute and you're going to see. Anyway, five attempts to seven. That's what I mean. It was a very close game. David was your man of the match so the other results for you man united lost 4-2 against leeds what a result there west ham lose to sheffield united brighton beat bournemouth uh, manchester city winning four goals to two against huddersfield town watford losing to liverpool southampton beat newcastle chelsea beat crystal palace arsenal winning 4-0 against leicester that's a result and burnley winning two goals to nil as well so there we have it with three points clear right now at the top of the table over liverpool tottenham dropped to third and then it's unchanged between fourth and eighth man united now down in 14th place they're having a hard time of it i don't even know how far they are off bottom of relegation where are they they're only nine points behind relegation right now they need to fix it so we're going to dive into the andalek matchup folks this is a whopping game because if we don't win we could be out. Kulosevsky has also changed his playing style now. He's a whole player, I believe, uh, which is nice to see. Might as well mix it up. But yeah, taking on Anderlecht, this was the lineup we we're going for. Now, the saving grace before the match started was the fact that all of my bat line was on blue, but we had no Mina. We had no Klosterman. We had to go Holgate, Tar, and Godfrey. Barrios in the hole with an anchor man. Kamavinga with Hammers starting today. I wanted that team spirit up as much as possible. Uh, I think I was going for... Did I do wing rotation or anchoring? I think we went for anchoring with the two lads up top. It's something I like to do. Keeps them through the middle. Stops them from spraying themselves out wide. Uh, we had Kulosevsky on the flank as well. I play a very, very high support range. I like to spread the lads out a lot. Uh, I, I just like to spread it out. Much. I don't know. I'm a spreader. There's a look at the table. So if Bayern Munich beat Paris Saint-Germain and we don't get a result against Anderlecht with a win... We will be out. And that was the pressure in this one on Legend. So let's dive into this match and see how we got on. So here we are at Lotto Park in Belgium. There's the official stadium for you guys. Which is nice. It's nice to be able to just import stadiums. 
When you need a stadium, just download it. Whack it in the game. And Bob's your uncle. But yeah, this is a whopping game. And the pressure was on here against Anderlecht. How are we going to fare? Well, you guys are going to find out. And I'm also going to be putting up the, the Bayern Munich scores whilst the match is playing. Uh, starting after this video, I'm going to try and also show you guys the top scorers and all that. And try and keep that a regular thing. I've just got to make a graphic for it. But I'm going to keep you up to date of what's happening uh, with the Bayern Munich versus Paddy Saint-Germain game. So you guys know what's at stake here and if, whether we'll need the result or not. Because a draw would be enough for Everton if Paddy Saint-Germain Saint win. In fact, we could lose this match if Paddy Saint-Germain win, but they're taking on Bayern Munich. Anyway, early doors, an early start to the game as Kamavinga now swings it round towards Holgate. And it was just sort of a case of testing to see how Anderlecht would play. You know, will they sit back as well? Because if they're playing conservative and all-out defence, they are going to be a team that sits back. They're out of the Champions League. They don't even care. They can't even get into Europa League. So for them, all they want to do is disrupt the flow. Anyway, a chance here via up the line. Cavalooing looking for that quick flick inside. Cleared away by Anderlecht. Let's find Holgate. Sebastian Villa to take on Murillo we decided no we're going to start again and make both players fall into each other which is always fun balls come back towards Golosevsky cuts back on the old left foot but unable to get the strike away and it's uh, cleared away by Godfrey Barrios towards Camavinga Sebastian Villa now with some space and we're going to line up the strike didn't really hit that with any conviction and when it gets to this point it's, it's difficult, it really is, especially on manual, to try and keep possession in tight quarters and open up the back line. Kulisevsky, though, does really well, delivers a great ball in and a good defensive clearance there by Anderlecht uh, as we now push into a, a bit of a foul that was given. Whether it's a foul or not, I think we're. I think the, the consensus has always been now that Data Pack 4 has messed up the collisions. I don't know what they've done to the game, uh, but I, I never used to see these fouls. I'm actually kind of tempted to go back to data back three to be honest but unfortunately you can't do that on consoles you have the luxury of possibly doing that on pc anyway here is calvert lewin we did see the run over the top for shallow but this is where it just didn't quite have the legs as uh, the ball was started again handle it clearing it away kamavinga falls down for sheeran amuzu sheeran again lays it up the line and the mecca challenged by Holgate back towards Portillo and starting now you start to see Anderlecht coming out of the shell a little bit more and it was a real tough time of getting the ball off and fortunately that was well well wide we move on now 23rd minute a chance here for James Rodriguez Ooh, tasty effort I thought I'd go for the back post that time and to be fair it was heading in or possibly hitting the crossbar and then we had a chance here for Anderlecht down the other end of the field to flick away by Villa if in doubt, you know what the saying is, get it out. Sané, up against Camavinga, but there's the quality of the young boy. Great challenge, a couple of players through the middle here, Calvert-Lewin, back towards Villa, towards Camavinga, nicely done. Now he needs some players in there. Question is, who is in there? Now really wanted to drill this early, it took too long. And that was unfortunately a wasted chance there. And we ended up being offside, I believe, but... It was a bit disappointing, I know the foul was given for Shalov, but should have drilled that early with Kamavinga, just didn't quite do it. So 32 minutes played, and uh, another chance here for the Toffees to bring it forward with Calvert-Lewin. Does find uh, Kulisevsky, loves to get down the old right flank, and as you can see elsewhere right now, Paddy Saint-Germain are a goal down to Bayern Munich as it stands. Bayern Munich will advance through and we will be knocked out because a draw won't be good enough. So we need Paddy Saint-Germain to wake themselves up. Ridiculous. Anyway, here's Portillo. Gets it back of uh, his man nicely. Villa looking to backtrack. Ten minutes to play till half-time. Look at this play here by Portillo. Oh, it was sensual. It's near post and the finish off the crossbar. And Umeka decides, I don't know why, First of all, this skill, unbelievable. You never see that on Superstar. Skin me like you wouldn't believe it. And then what's he playing at here? Trying to be cute. Instead of just putting it in the back of the net. What a plonker. Absolute waste there by Mecca. Could have made it 1-0. Decided against it. 
So there is a Muzu. Zuz. Just going to come up with these names because I don't know how you pronounce half of them. Look at that name for you. It's an absolute mouthful. And it was great play by Andley to play this down the line. We got caught with the pants down. Another chance and another header has gone off the bar. Well, we were living on the edge. You know, what the facts of Bayern Munich leading right now by goal to nil made things even tougher. And, well, has he got to keep that down? It was a little bit high for him, but probably should have at least kept it under the crossbar. As we're into the final minute of the half here. James Rodriguez losing out. Yeah, the concentration was going at this point. Getting a little bit nervous. Ball was swung round. Can Portillo keep it on? Just about. Deflected away by Holgate. Murillo. Back to Portillo. He does fire one in. It's a good looking ball. Comes back away. Barrios can't get there. Opportunity and a big deflection. <sighs> Luckily, when you just get a player in the way. You need a bit of fortune, you need something, and yeah, players just getting the foot out. You can see who was it? Oh, it was Tar, just boom, right off the head. So now we're going to move into the start of the second half. Still 1 0 between Bayern Munich and Paris Saint Germain, which means the Toffees need a reply. They need something in this second half. 45 minutes left to play. You can see the clock is going very, very slow. We're playing 17 minute matches, so. I just didn't want to rush. That's one thing I don't want to do. If I'm going to play on Legend, then I'm going to have to take a lot more time. Otherwise, you're just trying to go back and forth, back and forth. It just doesn't work. You've got to work the team round, and you've got to move the AI, you know, when you can from left to right. Uh, and just try and outmaster them. Anyway, Kulisevsky, Hames. Lovely pass back towards Kulisevsky. Just needed some players in there. And the big deflection kindly looped over the bar. A chance for the corner as the ball's fired in. Comes back towards Sebastian Villa. Looking for the old traditional volley, but... No power, no power. So here's Kulisevsky now, 59 minutes played. I know Kulisevsky's a whole player now, but he, he can still play on the wing. It just gives me the luxury now, if we need to, to put him in the middle as well. It's Dimata, Zuls, Amuzi. Nice bit of play by him, but hounded by Kulisevsky. Great interception as we try and just fire it round to Calvert-Lewin. Cross the hour mark here in Belgium. Can Tar win the header? Yes, he can, but only as far as Diwali. Sounds like Diwali. Diwali, the old uh, Indian celebration. Here is uh, Sebastian Villa towards Camavinga towards the Colombian Holgate just needed to start possessing you know getting a bit of confidence about the play because that time is ticking it's dumb things like that though not paying attention here is Sané and we've just got news elsewhere folks that Bayern Munich have now made it two goals to nil against Paddy Saint-Germain so it's not looking good in our favour at all we need Paddy Saint-Germain to come up with something and right now it's not happening so we need a goal and we need one fast and there was a chance here for Hammers and yeah let's just let's just ignore that <laughs> it didn't happen and Luigi will tick that one off so we have a change with Kamavinga coming off and Mbabu coming on he's going to be playing on that right hand side Kulisevsky now is going to push through the middle just behind Hammers here is Calvert-Lewin, haven't seen him enough. Chance for Shalov, always oh, a chance here for Kulisevsky, but Van Krombrug with a comfortable claim as the ball was uh, straight into his arms. But there, Kulisevsky already getting forward, and that's going to be a big difference between him and Kamavinga. Kamavinga will get forward, but you're going to see a little bit more movement uh, from Kulisevsky because he's just a little bit more of an attacking player. Well, here is Godfrey back to Kulisevsky of course the Toffees and the players won't know the result elsewhere none of them have the old earpiece in Luigi will know he's on the old uh, social media Google Googling up the result right now and he knows that as it stands Bayern Munich will finish second Paris Saint-Germain top Everton third and they're going to be going into the Europa League unless they can conjure up a goal within the next 20 minutes and there hasn't been too many chances that's the worrying thing and the have been very solid at the back. Playing some good stuff here. Amuzi looks to cut in. Great challenge there. And Babu takes no gambles as he clears it away. 
Portillo lays it inside. Chance here for Anderlecht. A comfortable save for Strakosha. Launches it fast and quick. Couldn't quite find Shalov as he falls on the backside. A little bit slippery out there. Challenged by Cavalier was a good one. And he does lay this one across towards James Rodriguez. And that's a fine save because this was heading into the top corner. But it's so difficult to score from there. It's almost like a canned animation where you, you know when you watch the goalie, he knows where it's going. It's like the full stretch Superman save. Anyway, chance for the corner. Looking for Tar, but he slipped as well. Does come back to Mbabu. And then Kulisevsi says, I'm going to have a go. And it was a knuckle shot swerving all over the place. Forcing the goalie to stick up the big palm. And just sort of clear this away. Although the goalie knew what was going to happen. He was on the turf before the ball was even struck. He made it look a little bit fancier than it was. As we've got two final changes. David and hudson Adoy coming on for Villa and James Rodriguez five minutes to spare and guess what folks it is now three goals to nil I needed a cough there at the same time so <laughs> but it was three goals to nil right now with Paddy Saint-Germain losing to Bayern Munich they have not done us a favour at all and Luigi's not going to be happy if this continues because there are only three minutes of added time it just doesn't look like it's clicked today at all just haven't found the groove up top. It was disappointing, really. Here's Duvalik. Murillo lays it up the line, looking for Portillo. As Hudson Adoy clears this one away, looking for Shalov. Can he win the header? No, he can't. And, to and the Toffees need the ball now. We're into the final minute. Just one minute left to play. Can Andalit even grab one, in fact? Not from that range. As the Strakosha takes no time in tour, just clearing this one away. Shalov kind of did something there to try and win it. And Mbabu does lay this one up the line. If there's anything going to happen, it's got to happen now. Shalov tries to whip it in. The referee has blown. And guess what, folks? He's given a penalty. The 94th minute. The referee has deemed this worthy of a penalty. You be the judge. He does get caught. If you look at his, his right, I mean, his right ankle, maybe it's debatable. Sané thinks no it's not but the big question is Shalov has to do the business can he score yes he can <laughs> I couldn't believe this can you believe that I should have let the uh, the celebration go on I, I pressed X and I skipped the celebration pure excitement of somehow we, we've done it he's given a penalty for that kind of like the Liverpool one with uh, Everton and and Calvert-Lewin and then the penalty was conviction all day I just went full hammer and tong smash it as hard as you can this this position seems to go in often when we score with hammers so I thought I'd do the same and that is a penalty right in the corner the goalie gets a hand onto it it's not enough and there's the full time whistle I, I, I've played pairs for many many decades and I don't think I've ever seen that the fact that Bayern Munich won three goals to nil against Paddy Saint-Germain and we got a penalty in the 94th minute to knock them out and make sure we put ourselves through to the knockout stages absolute madness so yeah I want you guys to let me know what you thought about today's gameplay not a ton of chances as I said but look at that eight attempts to nine it was such an even game I enjoyed it I felt like yeah I wasn't all over the AI but I could still create and I didn't feel like I was getting cheated Shalov man of the match with the penalty but what an ending to that match there it is the confirmation for you Bayern three Paris Saint-Germain nil uh, also Barcelona beat Man City Inter beat Shakhtar Donetsk Borussia Dortmund lost 4-1 uh, against Tottenham Hotspur uh, Hotspur Tottenham Hotspur as well uh, Man United drawing against Atletico Madrid Juventus losing to Marseille Michelin beat Celtic Chelsea beat Zenit St. Petersburg Real Madrid beating Benfica as well so let's quickly look at the group so there we have it wow what are you saying about that? We had three wins, two draws, one defeat. Paddy Saint-Germain claimed top, we claim second. In Group C, it's AZ and Valencia going through. Uh, in Group D, it's Inter and Shakhtar Donetsk. So we're going to have a lot of hard teams to face. Uh, group E is Atletico Madrid, top Man United second. Leipzig knocked out. Juventus top of Group F with Marseille finishing second place. In Group G, Chelsea 
and Zenit St. Petersburg close, but those are your top two. And Group H, Real Madrid, look at that. Six out of six, and Benfica in second. And in Group A, Barcelona as well. Six out of six for their Man City finishing in second place. So we can face Barcelona, Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, Juventus. Too many good teams to face in the Champions League next round. But there you have it, folks. Let me know your thoughts below. We shall return. But that was madness. And uh, yeah, absolutely insane. It was crazy. Let me know your thoughts as always. We'll be back with live commentary. Don't worry, this was just a one-off because I wanted to test the gameplay and just record it and see if it was actually respectable. Seems like it is. Anyway, until next time, take care.